All right, hello. Thanks for being here. Uh, we're getting loaded up here now, and uh, hoping my voice holds up tonight. Yeah, it's been a rough, uh, rough couple days with some weather systems moving through, really messed with my voice this time around. So we're gonna give this a shot tonight and see how my voice holds up. So we're just getting loaded up here. We're trying to having some minor technical difficulties here before we got started, but I think we got things squared away now, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to get started here tonight and uh, continuing on with Cursion Ashton. We're uh, end of January. We've got, what do we got, 17 games. we got 17 games left to play. We've played 29 out of our 46. And uh, as you can see, we're top of the table now, 13 points clear of filed. Um, we've been on an amazing run. Uh, just, we were briefly in second place, but we've been in first, uh, now for like the past 20, no, not 20 games, about the past 15 games we've been in first place. Uh, Kyle Hudlin is just absolutely dominating the league with, uh, 28 goals right now. And, uh, we're on, I think we're set to have another great youth intake as well. Uh, if we go look at our youth candidate previews, we've got a great central midfielder, attacking midfielder, and striker all coming through this season. Um, again, so hopefully we can get somebody, you know, that looks like, uh, you know, Billy Drew that can come through and uh, and help us out. I mean, you can see his progression over the past, well, this is what he's got what, the past 12 months on it here. Um, he's been growing uh, um, great. I love his work rate. I love his uh, teamwork. The stamina and strength are coming around again at just 5'9". You don't expect him to be, you know, have a whole lot physically, but uh, it's coming along nicely. Again, he's got the uh, current ability to operate at this level, plus some ability to improve in the future. Um, he doesn't do a whole lot technically. Again, it's more about, you know, being physical and being smart enough to be in the right position. And we're hoping that the technicals will come along with it because um, these are obviously still developing. But that's Billy Drew. Uh, going back, looking here real quick. I mentioned Kyle Hudlin. He's uh, played 22 games, scored 28 with seven assists. So uh, with an 8.15 rating, I got no complaints over how he's played this season. Again, him being six foot nine and having 20 jumping reach really has been a huge key for his success. Um, it's, he's just gets in the box, dominates, and uh, scores a bunch of goals. Uh, so we've got a game coming up tomorrow against Oldham. Uh, we're going to get to that right now and uh, get things moving. Uh, so we'll have a starting lineup of Marcel Vosevich, Ryan McLaughlin, Roland Meniesi, Liam Riddellach, right, I know, Ride Hog, Maddie Downing, Jack McKay, Liam Coyles, the captain, Billy Drew, Luke Griffiths, and Bradley Rolt, and Adam Thomas, with Dan Jurovich, Maxim Kogan, Charlie Savage, James Ball, and DJ Campton Sturridge on the bench. Uh, let's do this for the media. Everybody loves that one. All right. So now, let's see how things go here again. As we line up with our four-three-one-two, Oldham's coming out in a narrow four, uh, narrow four-four-two diamond. Nice interception there, Miniessi to McKay. Plays it through for Roll to run onto. And didn't really have any support. Was kind of forced into that shot there. That goes high and wide. Oh, okay. Uh oh. We are. Oh, come on. Cover. Okay, good. Well, we kind of forced him outside here. All right. Well, that's not a terrible recovery from being in a bad position. Let's see if we can hold on here. Defend that cross. Good. We'll take that. We'll definitely take that. Again, we've kind of, well, they've kind of evened things up here, but early on, we look like we're in pretty good shape here matching up against uh, this Oldham team. Downing with a nice run up the left-hand side here. Come on, put in a good cross. That's McKay. That's what he does best, attacking the box late and winning those headers. Uh, he has scored a bunch of goals for us doing exactly that. Attacking the box late and uh, getting those wide open headers like that. Because here comes the late run. You 
can see him back here trailing those front three attackers. The cross is played behind them, and McKay is there uh, to run onto it. Yeah, it looked like I thought we were off to a good start, and uh, sure enough, we were, and immediately got a goal. Now we got a nice free kick here from Griffiths from a dangerous position. Oh, forces a good save there from Harness. Long ball over the top. Well, that's dealt with very poorly. Rounded the keeper and won't, yeah, wide open net. That one hurts my head a little bit. Uh, his harness just lumps the ball forward, and for some reason, we were, out, I don't know why we were out of position there. We were woefully out of position on that. So that gives Oldham a, uh, I'd say, undeserved equalizer. And now a free kick. Come on, Vucevic, you've got to do better than that. Let's win the ball back here. Hold on with some really nice passing here. Good block. Close down Durley real quickly. Block the shot. Let's get to halftime 1-1. One, one. Reset. Good job, McKay. We're going to get to halftime 1-1. One, one, and we're going to reset and come back stronger here in the second half. Not happy with that performance out there. There we go. Good. Got some motivation for the team here. They've got a bunch of yellow cards. They must be really tackling hard. Because that's four yellow cards. Apparently, we're going to get nothing now. Here we go. Vasevich is with a goal kick. Looking for Griffiths in the middle. That's intercepted. Going to fall to Jones, unfortunately. Billy Drew, good. Didn't make a rash tackle either. He's got a bad habit of doing that. That is a mile offside. Thank you. All right, let's get some. We need some fresh legs here. Griffiths is already on a yellow card anyways. We'll bring in James Ball. I should have put... Um, I actually should have put Kyle Hudlin on the bench, but we're going to do something different. We're going to bring in Hudlin for Tom, or not Hudlin. We're going to bring Campton Sturridge on for Adam Thomas. Uh, and we're going to change things around here a little bit. Pause. We're going to switch to the double advance forward here. This changes our attacking uh, instructions just a little bit. Some tweaks there. Oh, I don't see. I just thought of one of the... I want to... Yeah, we'll just go fairly wide. We'll change our attacking width a little bit. Maybe try and play with a little bit higher tempo here. Try and work our way around this diamond they're using. This is not filling me with a whole lot of uh, positive feeling here. Okay, good. The free kick goes over. Hey, Nightbot, how's it going? I am currently not doing well as we're now losing to the team that is 22nd in the league. So that's great. Come on, Fusevich. You've got to do better with that shot from there. Oh. Yeah, I'm also not, feel, not, having, not feeling great. I, uh, we had a... 
No, it's not good. Uh, I think we got a little complacent, I think, is the problem here. Because we're top of the league by 13 points. Um, and we, we did not show up today, though. Oh, I also had to rotate the squad quite a bit for this one. So, I mean, that kind of explains it a little. Uh, I definitely did not, was not able to play my strongest 11 in this one. Uh, due to just people being tired and needing to rotate a little bit. So that little bit of is uh, a little bit of what happened is also due to that. Uh, we played okay, just got beat over the top on a long ball, and then of course we had the goal that they got from the set piece. So I mean, we didn't play terribly. We just didn't play great. Um, we kind of only played okay, and that wasn't uh, wasn't good enough today because Oldham definitely brought their best. Yeah, we, I was starting to say we had a couple you know, kind of weather systems that moved through my area. Dropped the temperatures, it got warm, then it got cold, then it got warm again. And it just completely messed up my voice and my sinuses. So I've really been struggling for the past three or four days. Uh, finally starting to feel better today. But my voice is, I don't know how well my voice is going to handle streaming tonight. It feels like it's barely holding on. Okay, so we're back to our strongest starting 11. Uh, Marcel Vosevich, Josh DeWodu, Maxim Kogan, Liam Reidhog, Daniel Jurovich, uh, Charlie Savage, Liam Coyle, James Ball across the three there with Luke Griffiths in front of them. And then, of course, our tar target forward, Kyle Hudland. And then a uh, rotation start for DJ Campton Sturridge at advance forward. Today, we're on the road against Wrexham. So here we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, especially once I can turn, I, Daniel Jurovich has got some potential that I have not been able, quite able to get him to reach yet. Um, and I think that getting to League Two and being able to get the team uh, fully professional and with full-time training will help to uh, unlock that. But he's been my starting wing back now for uh, three seasons. And I just have zero interest in trying to, um, you know, in, in selling him because I think he's going to be really good. At least for, I think he's got one more level in him. Probably not League One, but I think he can play in League Two. Come on, let's win one of these second balls here, people. Well, that's not great. Um, let's try and keep track of you a little bit better. Make sure we try and force him outside. I don't want him cutting in like that again. Oh. Okay, good, 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 Sturridge. Oh, Hudlin, are you going to get to that? You are. Okay, good. Lay it back to Jurovich. Take it out wide. And now cross it to Kyle Hudlin. Oh, that's good. Cool. It wasn't really in a great position to take a shot from there. It was kind of forced. Ooh, that was an ambitious shot. Uh, but that's okay. fairly even match here so far, although they definitely have had the bigger share of highlights. Tozer in his long throws, man. I think he burnt me in that once before. Okay, that's got to be offsides, right? Yes, I see the flag. Okay, good. That is offside. Yep. 
decent cross and finish, but he definitely was off sides. Oh, they... S oh, no, no, no. They didn't switch. These two midfielders are playing very aggressive. Make some more changes here. Well, they definitely turned it on there late in that first half uh, and outplayed us there towards the end of the half. we got to be better than that. See if we can't get an improvement here in the second half. And we're immediately starting with a highlight for another Tozer long throw. There we go. Go. Good. Come on, Hudlin. Get in the box, man. You're killing me here. Quit dragging your feet. Uh, that wasn't the best cross that we've ever seen. And that was not a good header from Paul either. My goodness, did we make a mess out of that counterattack opportunity we had there. <sighs> off the... Off the post... We are definitely under pressure here. All right, let's see. Um, we're going to bring Billy Drew in for Liam Coyle. And we're going to bring a Rolt in for Sturridge. Neither one of them has played very well. Fusevich, long ball that's supposed to be towards Hudlin. Fusevich, what are you doing? Nice defense ball. Great defense there. He's got Rolt running down the right-hand side now. Looking for Hudlin. Wins the header, but it goes over. Sure, we make that change in response to their tactic changes. Oh, come on, why are you letting? Oh my goodness, they hit the woodwork again! Wow. If we're able to get out of this and steal a win here, this is going to be. Oh, the cross got blocked and fell right to Patrick. That's okay. We're in a good position. We're forcing him out wide. We're marking the run from the midfielder. Well, okay, good. He was offsides. That one scared me a little bit because I was not sure if he was offside or not. Um, who are we going to bring in here? Let's, well, we're going to bring in McKay and then bring Ball up to play and advance playmaker role. Come on. Oops. Come on. Are we going to sneak something out of this game or are we going to take a draw? Looks like we're taking a draw. Okay. Well, again, not exactly at our best, but going on the road to Wrexham, I guess, isn't, a, uh, isn't too disappointing. The defense played quite well all the way across there. Was definitely lacking a little bit up front here for my attackers today. Um, yeah, I don't really like what I just saw. That wasn't. We're gonna we're gonna make sure we know that that wasn't good enough. And then again, looking at the table, we're down to 15 games to play. We're 11 points clear. Good night. Um, Ebb's fleet has moved up into second. Filed is still right there behind them. Uh, early leaders, Alder Shot, have definitely dropped well off the pace uh, after getting off to a really great start to the season. They've dropped off a little bit. Uh, you can see Wrexham right there in seventh now. And our next game is going to be another tough one because we're going on the road to Gloucester City, who are coming off of a. Where are they?
are they? Do they play? Oh, they're, they're coming off a draw against Yeovil. So they also had a tough game. This this group right here, like this 54 to 44 group, like 4th through 11th, they're all really, it's going to be interesting to see who ends up with the playoff spots because there's a lot of games left, a lot of movement that's going to happen there. So again, having these games so close together, we've got to rotate a majority of the squad again. Uh, we're on the road against Gloucester City. Of course, they're also doing quite a bit. They've got five changes in their squad as well. So they're also doing some quite a bit of rotating. Uh, let's go try and put on a show here and show that our recent praise is justified. Nice crowd here for Gloucester. Looks like a majority of their seats are filled. All right. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit. Have a good night. We'll see you next time. Oops, I'm trying to get a league table. Okay. Nice work, McLaughlin. Way to cover that long ball. Hudlin knocks it down for Griffith. Plays through to Rolt. Beautiful. Come on, Rolt. Oh, it hits the post and just kind of hangs out there if it doesn't go in. Nice win there, Coyle. Nice defense winning that ball. Lopez across to Meniesi. Back to Lopez. Looking forward, nobody there. Hudlin with some nice pressure, though. Forces a long ball. That gets flicked on to nobody. Good. McLaughlin looking for the run of Rolt. He's going to get to that ball. Take the shot. And he's going to score. Bradley Rolt. 12th goal of the season. Nice finish after he uses pace to get through to that long ball. Stayed on side. McLaughlin with some nice vision here to see the space for that. And then Rolt to, to turn... With the acceleration and then the pace to stay in front of everybody. Really nice finish there. Really nicely done. We've got a nice, nice looking goal. Coyle back to Lopez to Griffiths. Out wide to Downing. Here we go. Looking for Rolt. Oh, and he hits the post again. Rolt could be on a hat trick right now. I thought surely that was a tap in. But it was not. Griffiths with the corner. Misses Hudlin somehow. Uh, Many yes, he's going to be the one to get to that. Everybody get back on side, please. Okay, I'll take playing it backwards. That'll work. Savage to Many Yessi. McKay. Coyle. Meniesi back to Vucevic. Long ball towards Hudlin. And Hudlin goes for the chip. Not quite executed. It goes over the bar. Didn't quite get the execution right on that one. Uh, but for us to show up in Gloucester, hold them to one off-target shot, have ten of our own shots with three of them on target, Plus, Bradley Rolt hitting the post two other times. Uh, we've been playing. This has been a very dominant performance for us on the road. What's funny is they've had 66% of the possession. We've had 34% of the possession. But have been basically playing on the counterattack. Every time we've had it, we've turned it instantly into an offense. Um... And, uh, yeah, we look good on our lead. I think we can find another gear to really take charge of this match. Well, we'll save it's like that. Nobody else did. Oh, it was a dangerous free kick. Okay. Whew. That, thankfully, went wide because we were not set up very well for that free kick. Another one. That's an instant replay of the last one. 
Okay, Whew, finally Vucevic claims the ball. Uh, Griffiths is getting tired, so we're going to bring ball in for him. Um, Hudlin is getting tired. We're going to go ahead and bring Sturridge in now for him. Uh, who else are we going to do here? I don't think we're going to do... Well, I really need somebody to bring in for Coil. But I don't want to bring in Savage quite yet. Maybe we'll go another 10, 15 minutes here or so. Uh, Gloucester trying to play it out from the back here. Good pressure. Oh, and Campton serves with the interception. Rolt gets his shot blocked. He's going to get another chance here, and that's a penalty. They didn't make a change here anyways. Because I forgot to switch to that one when we went double advance forward. Here we go. Taking this is... McKay. That's right. And McKay... Excellently done. Well struck penalty. And we have a des very deserved 2 to nothing lead. Oh, right down the middle. With the cheeky little right down the middle penalty after letting the keeper dive to the side. Oh, that just got really loud. Okay. Not sure why that was so loud. Uh, let's see. What are we doing here? We're bringing in Savage for... Coil. Gonna let him swap over to the Carlero spot. Win that ball. Good. Ooh, excuse me. Good job, Lopez. Uh, wide to Harrison. Sewell. His shot goes wide, thankfully. Yeah, they've. Been able to do generate a little bit more offense here in the second half. Since you know they must be on quite they must be quite attacking. Uh, the replay was triggered <laughs> before the highlight hit because the the goal happened so quick in the beginning of the highlight it doesn't even get a chance to show you the highlight before it triggers the replay. That's hilarious. Yeah, we just saw this. Sturridge was offside after Ball won that. Uh, uh, kick there. You can see with the narrow defense, like this, is, all of their possession has been out wide, but it hasn't really been very far forward either. They just had a a ton of. Uh, hey, JP Sports, thanks for the raid, man. Hey, Mountain Island Gaming, how's it going? All right, we just finished a win over Gloucester. Uh, yeah, we just finished a win over Gloucester. And uh, I'm doing pretty good. Was uh, a little sick the past two or three days, but felt was feeling better uh, yesterday. Well, towards the end of yesterday and then today. And decided I was feeling good enough to... Uh, Get a stream in tonight, so that's what we're doing. Uh, we're having a great season. We're 14 points clear at the top of the table here. 32 games into the season. Uh, so we're looking really good for our promotion to League 2. Uh, so yeah, it's been, been a pretty exciting season for us so far. We can play our first 11. And uh, I think we'll be able to play them. Yeah, I think we have some time off after this game, too. So this is going to work out great. Let's go put on a real show. Okay. Let's see how we do in this FA Trophy corner final against Chorley. Uh, all right. Already got a set piece. Hudlin need those to be down more than that. Uh, they made it. Wow. Wow. They made an absolute disaster out of that set piece. <laughs> the 
Jurovich to Griffiths. Oh, come on, man. How are you not finishing that? That absolutely should have been finished. Hudlin back across the roll. Who taps it in? I will take it. Well done. Well done, indeed. Jervich to Savage, Coil, Jervich, all the way across to Hudlin, who hit it back across the face of goal, and Rolt was able to maneuver himself into position to get on that one. Why are we launching the ball towards Rolt? He can't win those. I'll take that, though. Oh, no, what a pass to Wodu. Rolt. Oh. Hudlin. Hudlin. Jimmy, Christmas, man. Ball. Nope, didn't win that one. Uh, Savage, Kogan. Coil. Back to Kogan. We're going to go wide. That's probably good. So if we go wide, we can look for Hudlin. Not the greatest cross you've ever had there. Jervich Dewodu, however. Oh, he's going to pull it back for ball. Dewo There's a cross finally. Hudlin can't get that one down either. Kyle Hudlin and his 40% shot on target percentage are really starting to bother me. Oh, also his fitness levels are starting to bother me too. Blocked. Dewodu, however, wins it. Reinhog manages to sneak it in off the underside of the bar. Okay. And after and just a very consistent amount of pressure, we find ourselves 2-0 uh, ahead. Chorley has one shot. Ball, his cross gets to Hudlin. That's going off the crossbar and out. And there's halftime. Keep it up. Keep it up. Guilfoyle free kick. Ooh. Just over the bar, thankfully. 2-1 would have been a little nerve-wracking. All right, let's bring Sturridge in there. Uh, let's get Kogan and his yellow card out of here as well while we're in here making changes. I think I just cut off a highlight. Apparently we get no highlights now. You guys didn't really want to see a highlight, did you? Nah. No, we didn't really want to see a highlight. Here's one. Savage. Camp oh, Campton Sturridge goes down. That's a penalty. This surely would be the uh, icing on the cake here. The finishing touches on Chorley. If Ball scores this, and he does, with ease, sends the keeper the wrong way. James Ball with a well-taken penalty. Keeper goes the wrong way, and Ball just tucks it in. One last set piece to defend here. And we do so quite well. Oh, and Savage is taken down by Tomlinson. That's going to be his second yellow card. All right. 
All right, well, that's going to definitely see us advance now. Let's see, very well done. That was an excellent win because really we absolutely dominated that game. Uh, but I will take the, uh, the FA Trophy quarterfinal win and uh, we'll move on to the FA Trophy semifinals. Uh, but yeah, this upcoming stretch here, the end of March and then through April, is insane. But, as exciting as that's going to be, it's happening next time. Uh, because it's just about 1 o'clock in the morning for me here. And so I have got to go get some sleep. Uh, thank you everybody who was here watching. Uh, we had uh, a couple raids come in, some new followers as well. So thank you for that support. That's amazing. Um, we are going to go uh, raid somebody real quick. So hang out here for a couple minutes while I get that set up. But again, thank you for watching. Uh, check the, uh, I will have, well, I've got uh, YouTube that you can check as well. Um, and then you can also follow on Twitter. Both of those, the links to YouTube, the links to Twitter are in my uh, profile here on Twitch. So that's where you can find those. But again, thank you for watching. Hang out here for just a minute while we go raid somebody else. And uh, have a good night.